With everything we've learned so far, let's go ahead and make our first useful program. So I'm gonna call, I'm gonna make a new HTML file and I'll just call this app.html. And here I'll hit my exclamation mark, hit tab. Uh, and we're going to make uh, a calculator that will compute the area of a rectangle. Okay, and then I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna put it in an H1 tag down here. All right, and let's make sure that this is actually gonna work. I'm gonna right click on this and hit open with live server. And it opened up in another window. Let me paste it over here. Okay, and there we go. Compute the area of a rectangle. The title that I wrote in first shows up up here in the tab. Okay, um, so to finish up our HTML, we need an input or maybe two inputs uh, for the user. So uh, I'm just gonna say, um, I'm gonna write, I'm gonna make a span, which is like a paragraph, but without the line break. And I'll say, please enter the length of the rectangle. And then we'll make an input. Okay, and we'll say, we'll give it an ID of length. Okay, and then we'll make a break. So this will show up on the next line. And we'll say span, please enter the width of the rectangle. And then we'll make another input. And then we'll give this one an ID of width. Okay, let's save it, see what it looks like. All right, so that's looking pretty good. Now let's go ahead and make a button uh, for the user to actually submit a function. We'll, we'll say calculate is what the user will see, calculate. And then we're gonna have to add the on click attribute to call a function. And so if I save this, um, maybe we wanna put this on the next line. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll actually put two breaks in here this time. Okay, and so it'll drop it down two spaces. And so you can see we have this nice little space uh, for our program. All right, so our HTML is pretty much good to go. The only thing we're gonna have to do is once we make a JavaScript file, we'll have to reference it in the HTML file. And then we'll also have to call the function uh, when the user clicks on the calculate button. And we'll go ahead and do all of that along with creating the function in the next video.